You know, this ladies and gentlemen, this player was a trailblazer for women's hockey in North America. One of the, the first, if not one of the first, women to sign a pro contract with a men's team. Got into a little bit of trouble because basically in the late 60s, early 70s, women's liberation and rights were accepted by many, but shunned by uh, quite a few more. I, I basically believe she deserves every recognition because not only was she a good goaltender, she signed with one of the toughest squads in the U.S. Uh, AHL. Uh, of course, we have to talk about the Marquette Iron Rangers. Again, very tough squad. The Carlson brothers had played with them. But Karen uh, Cook, uh, in Canada, some of the pronunciation is uh, uh, Koch, but she pronounces it Cook is a uh, American-born former, again, female ice hockey goalie. Now, born in Monroe, Michigan in 1951, she played uh, for the Marquette Iron Rangers in the USHL during the 1970 season. Now, she signed a contract for $40 per game, which made her, again, the first pro hockey player in North America. As of, uh, as of a number of years ago, as far as her coach, Leonard O.K. Brom knew, again, she was the first in the world. I really don't know because uh, Russia, Eastern countries, uh, England, I'm not really sure. There might have been a substitute, especially goalie. So we'll say the first in North America and, you know, men are home at the higher level of pro later on. Now, since her hockey days, she has earned a bachelor's and a master's degree, both in English lit from Wayne State University and University of Dayton, so a very cerebral uh, player like most goalies are. She also holds a black belt in judo and a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Now, she's also a bird lover and also is a wildlife aficionado. Now, uh, how this worked was, was quite interesting. The USHL welcomed her as the first female pro hockey player when she was only 18. Now, I, I hope you take this the right way, with all due respect, I'm not sure if she was draft eligible because being a woman, there was no really talk of that. Now, at the time, the Iron Rangers were the defending champs. They won uh, numerous USHL pro titles before they turned over to junior. Now, uh, Oki Brum, then coach for the past 18 season, has said her only drawback was her size and that since she's they were larger the teams other goalies stopped more pucks by accident than she did on purpose now uh, her addition to the team brought complaints from the other players despite their admittance that she was good it's also brought national publicity as the team caught calls from the associated press upi reuters and newspapers radio and tv stations all over the u.s and canada now, considering the fact I was one of the f first full-time reporters to cover women's am amateur hockey on a full-time basis in New Brunswick, dating back to the late 80s, early 90s for uh, Brunswick News, I can tell you uh, I never heard of her until Manor Realm, Realm showed up. But I've read a little bit about her and I heard very similar to like a Darren Pang uh, Bernhardt style because of her size. And if you look at the photo, she was getting into uh, the new pads of the late 60s, early 70s which really benefit goalie so that alone her wearing that equipment made her part of the modern era of hockey now now when the team it came time for the team to cut the squad down to 18 players and two goalies the coach adjusted the number so she could keep her on the team her president caused such a stir that Sioux St. Marie Ontario officials insisted that she be announced as a starting goaltender to swell attendance they also set up a pregame penalty box with then Mayor John Rhodes, who had been a hockey player in the past. Karen received a standing ovation when she uh, uh, stopped a road shot. So, Sault Ste. Marie, big hockey area, we were very happy to see her. Now, she was eventually let go from the Ryan Rangers after repeatedly going against her coach's orders and removing her mask during the after Christmas games. There were 10 games left in the schedule at the time. She went on to play in the Toronto area, made national headlines again to when she was barred by the CAHA from playing on men's teams. Well, the CAHA can't do that anymore because with the charter, if uh, she's a qualified player and there's no local female teams, I think she could play. But like I said, uh, a very, very talented individual. I heard, like I said, her style, same size, like the Darren Pang, that five foot four to five foot six, hundred and forty pound goalie, which is was much more common in the seventies. Now it was be comparable probably to uh, a high bantam or uh, 
early midget, like a midget first season. Because uh, usually most female goalies I see, they max out at about 5'8", five, 5'10". Five, you rarely see a 6'2", or 6'4", goalie because obviously female players on the forward lines, uh, most most people play goalie, but again, it's the, the pads itself. you got to be smaller in hockey to play the pads. You can't be... Uh, even uh, six foot four to play effectively even at the pro level it's quite difficult because again of the pad structure but uh, Monroe, Michigan, beautiful community uh, and I would uh, you know it would be interesting to, to see exactly uh, because the anniversary of we're playing USHL is still past it may be 30 for 30 or some other documentary company could uh, track, her, track her down I think uh, basically uh, what she did for hockey uh, was uh, tremendous because being the first means more will follow and it took uh, literally a number of uh, years uh, uh, for that to happen, but uh, again, you know, it is it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. If you uh, like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you uh, know uh, Karen uh, Cook in your travels, uh, uh, people should be very proud of her because playing in the USHL and surviving that alone, male or female, uh, especially the Iron Rangers, it could be a rough experience. Thanks for listening. Bye.